Welcome to Truly Force Free's trainer tip, quick tip today. Today we're gonna talk about birds. So today, this is my bird, Corby. He is 26 years old. He's a lilac crown Amazon. I got him um, when he was still a baby and I finished hand raising him with um, a syringe. So he's been bonded to me um, for his whole life. Um, so because we have ha always had a, a really trusting relationship, you know, he lets me pet him. Um, he will let me um, scratch the back of his head and um, sometimes he'll snuggle in. Um, so we have a real affectionate a relationship. Not all birds have that, especially if they were wild caught. So, or if they just didn't get a lot of handling when they were really young. Um, if you decide to get a bird as a pet, they can be great pets. Um, you just have to know some things like birds have special diets. So Corby needs pellets and fruits and vegetables and a little bit of seed, not too much. Um, one pellet I like to use is Harrison's. That's a really good quality pellet, but there's some other pellets out there. Um, I try to mix it up. When I give fruits and vegetables, it's a small amount because you have to think about his size. So if I give five grapes, that's like me eating five watermelons. So, you know, I give him a grape and then green beans and broccoli and carrots and just mix it up. During the summer, he likes corn. So I'm trying to give a variety of, of fruits and vegetables every day and then a little bit of seed. Um, he likes peanuts and sunflowers, but a too much seed and too many nuts can, can actually be bad for them too. So you wanna really balance their diet. Another thing that is really important with birds that we are realizing now is that they need to be outside to get direct sunlight so that their bones can develop strong and they get a proper amount of vitamin D. So <clears throat> having an outside aviary is great, but if you have another place, I Corby has an outdoor cage <clears throat> because I don't keep him super tightly clipped so I don't just let him sit on a perch outside. Um, but if you clip your bird, you could put them on a perch, but there's still the risk of them getting injured um, if they're not safe in your yard. So keeping that in mind. Um, but you know, when you're, you can train these birds to do things, um, a lot of birds will talk. Corby has very limited language, but he has learned things like um, his name. So he'll say, Corby, corp, 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 corp. Or um, he likes a kiss sound. Um, I don't know if he'll do it. He knows that means kiss. Um, and no, I'm not feeding you. Um, sometimes he thinks I should feed him like his mom when we do that. Um, he <clears throat> will step up. I don't have to force him to step up. He just steps up. And, and he likes to do things like swing upside down. And when he's in a real playful mood, he'll climb all over. Um, right now, he's a little unsure this whole video thing, you know, he's not used to. So um, having these birds can be really great, but you do have to be really patient with them because these beaks can hurt and it is their way of defending themselves or when they're scared. So if you get a bird that um, is wild caught or didn't have, wasn't raised with people or something, you might not be able to handle them this way, but you can go slow. So <clears throat> things you can start to do with a bird that's afraid is you know try to hand feed them even if you have to feed this way um this is a walnut he's getting a little full because he's had a couple but you know feeding them a walnut and or or whatever they like a raisin or peanuts a lot of times corby prefers peanuts just to build up that bond a little bit and then teaching them that stepping up um you know you put your finger out they step up they get a treat so all of these things can help build your bond with them and um, eventually also teaching them so you can open up their wings. He thought I was gonna step them up, but I he opening up their wings. He doesn't really want his wings opened up right now because I'm talking and not focusing on him. But so you can clip his wings, you can file their nails with even a nail file if they get used to putting their um, foot up onto your finger. So grooming can be easy. Um, we just have to remember not to force these animals because um, they are, they you know have feelings and brains just like our dogs and a lot of things that we do we do just to try to force them into things but if we can teach them how to have good husbandry skills taking care of them and we teach them that it's safe um, you will have a much better relationship with these um, birds so birds can be a great pet um, it can be a little loud they can be messy so you need to know that before getting them you need to know what kind of diet they have, there are some birds like lorikeets and lorries that eat nectar only. So if you feed them seed, you actually could kill them because they can't digest the seed. So <clears throat> you wanna make sure you're 
if you decide to get a bird as a pet, that you do your research. So you know exactly what they need to eat, what kind of environment they need. Corby really likes to have different toys and puzzles in his cage so that he has mental stimulation. Um, they're very social too, so you don't want to just stick them somewhere where no one ever gets to see them. Corby's right in our dining room, so he's right in action all the time. So he always is part of our family. So um, hopefully this helps if you've been thinking about getting a bird. Um, we'll probably do more videos of some training with Corby as we go along and, and show how fun having a bird can be. So I hope this quick tip helped you and um, we will see you next time.